welcome back to my channel! Today I'm going to be doing a Los Angeles haul because I just got back from LA on Sunday and I have a few things to share with you guys. So before we start this video, make sure to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up so I know that you are loving these hauls. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say about that, so let's get into the video. So first I just want to show off my Pluto ears that I got for Disneyland or to wear at Disneyland. I know you can um, purchase ears there, but I wanted my own and to stand out and I love Pluto. Pluto is one of my favorite Disney characters. I also love Marie from the Aristocats and any of the Dalmatians from the Under One Dalmatians and I love the Lion King. I love a lot of the animals in Disney. So if you're wondering where I got these ears, I got them off of an Etsy shop. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I can link it down below if you would like to check these out. But I just wanna talk about this really quick. I, when I met Pluto, it was really cute. One of my friends got a video of it, so I will insert it like after this clip, but it was really cute. I got to hug him and he, lo he loved my ears. He like pointed them out and then I was like, you're my favorite. And yeah, it was just really cute. You'll see it. I loved, um, the actors animations yeah it was it was really good i love how all the disney characters act it's, it's really fun i i felt like a kid again and it, it was just so fun but i didn't get like a ton of like non makeup things from disneyland i got like a few things i got a keychain for my sister i got alex the donald duck stuffed animal because that's his favorite um, disney character so i got him a donald duck and then i got this shirt for myself it has disneyland on the back this is a medium but it is humongous. This like could possibly be like an extra large to be honest. So this will just be a shirt that I kind of wear around the house, which is really sad because these shirts are so expensive. They're like $64, like $70 of tax. So that really sucks, but they're really cute. It's really, really pretty. But that's what I got from Disney. <laughs> it's like looking in the mirror. <laughs> I know. You're my favorite. But I also got makeup at Disney because there is a downtown Disney in Disneyland, so I walked all the way down to that Sephora and got some stuff there. Um, I went to three Sephora's on this trip. Um, I went to the Disneyland one, I went to The Grove, which is I guess a popular mall in the Los Angeles area and it's right next to the farmer's market or in kind of the farmer's market area. And then I also went to the one at Universal. It's kind of funny because at Universal, I didn't realize that there was Sephora in that city walk or whatever you would like to call it where all the shops are it's so pretty it's so lit up i can take a, a or i can insert a picture of the photo i took at um universal of the sephora but it was funny because i was walking out to where the bus area is because it was like 8 45 and that's when we were meeting to get um picked up by the bus and i saw somebody walking around with a sephora bag so i was like I need to check if there's one here. Yeah, there was, and I was so excited. I had to run and get it, but it was like, I had like 15 minutes till the bus was supposed to be there. And I was super stressed because I was in line and a bunch of people in front of me were like signing up for the rewards program or something was wrong with their credit card or just something like that. And I was just freaking out. Cause I was like, I need to go. Like the bus is gonna leave in like two minutes. So I was like texting all my friends, like don't let the bus leave. But then it's funny cause I sprinted all the way out there and the bus wasn't even there for another 20 minutes. So I could have taken my time, but I did not But that was a super, super cool Sephora there. I wish I would have known about that city walk shop place during the day. Cause I totally would have gone during the day, but I didn't know about it. So those are the three that I went to um, in LA. I just couldn't help myself. So I should probably get into the products and stop talking. So I'll take my ears off. But yeah, these are super cute. I got so many compliments on them and they're really, really nice and like really sturdy. Like they didn't get damaged at all during the trip and they didn't get damaged in my suitcase. So yeah, I really, I really like those. I'll stop talking about them now, but yeah, I really like them. So. This is from the three trips that I took. I needed to limit myself because I didn't want my suitcase to be over 40 pounds or whatever the limit was. It was pretty close. I was really scared. Just because, you know, all this stuff is kind of heavy. So it adds a couple pounds in there. But, yeah, so 
let's get into it. Okay, so the first product is something I've been eyeing and a lot of people really want, but it's kind of funny because there's a story with it too. So I got the Milk um, Hydro Primer, the one with cannabis stuff in it, and it's really pretty. I actually am wearing it today and I really like it so far. I'm just hoping I don't get like a reaction or something because I've heard some people have gotten like allergic reactions from this or just stuff like that. So I just hope it doesn't really do anything to my skin, but it looks really nice under the skin. You have to like wait a minute for it to like um, settle into your skin so it'll really work, but it really looks like my foundation is gripping to it and this is a gripping primer, so that's really nice. But I really love the packaging on this. I just love like the clear packaging. It's like a total milk packaging, but I really like their packaging. I think this is my first um, milk product ever, but all good things so far. I will let you know on Instagram my final thoughts after I wear this for a little bit and totally see everything. And it's nice because my pores like are smoothed out too. So I don't really know if this is supposed to be like a pore filling thing, but it really blurs everything out. Well, I just want to put out there really quickly. If you can hear music that really stands out besides my background music is because my sister is practicing for her piano lesson tonight. And this is kind of the only time I can film. So if you hear that, I am so sorry if it's bugging you, just try to ignore it, but if you can't, that's perfect. I don't know how it will sound once I edit and stuff. But anyway, let's get back to the products. Um, the next thing is something I wanted ever since it even like showed up on the internet, like before it even released. It is the Too Faced Natural Lust Bronzer, and it's because of the packaging is the only reason I really wanted it, but look how pretty that is. But I've heard su super good reviews about it that it actually is really nice. A lot of people did um, buy it for the packaging, but it's so pretty and it smells really like fresh. Like it's just so cute and it looks like the perfect like shade of bronzer for me and I'm really excited. This is huge too. I thought it would be like a normal size. I don't know if I have any like normal size bronzer right there, um, but like a normal size, you know, like that doesn't really help. Bigger than this, but not as big as this. But anyway, I just really think this is so pretty and I'm really, really excited to use it. It's just it's so beautiful and I love this like periwinkle purple type of moment on the back. Like, so beautiful. Next is also something I've been wanting for a while and it is the Lily Lashes Miami Lashes and I am so excited about these. Um, I just heard that they went into like support, like all, all Sephora stores maybe, or most of them. Um, but this was the first time I've ever seen them in stores, or the, at least the Miami ones, because they've always been sold out if there even were any there. But I'm so excited to try these. They're just super hype lashes, so I am excited to see if they work for me or if they do not. But the packaging is so pretty. I love, I love like the hard packaging. They're just, they're just so pretty. So the next thing I have is from Pat McGrath, and it is one of their, um, how do you say that, Idols eyeshadow. It's, it's their new single shadows, and I'm really excited to try this. I don't want to open it right now just because of all the packaging. I love how she does these um, loose like sequin like packaging things. I just think it's really cute, but it's just like a um, basic kind of golden bronzy shimmery shade, and I swatched it in the store, and it was just so pretty. And if I see a Pat McGrath display, like I have to get something because the Sephora that I go to is inside JCPenney, like the one I normally go to, and they don't have Pat McGrath. So I had to pick up something from Pat McGrath. The next item is something from Frisali, and it's something I've been wanting to try for a really long time, but it is the mini size because I'm not about to drop $54 on a serum, especially if I don't like it. And it is the Skin Tomb Blur one. Um, I've been looking for the travel or mini size of this forever, but my Sephora never has it. And when I was in line checking out at the Universal Sephora, um, I saw the travel size and I was like, I have to get it now because I really wanted to try it. But like I said, I don't really want to spend $54 on a serum if I don't like it. But yeah, you've all seen it. It's just the really pretty like turquoise, aqua, uh, aqua, aqua colored um, serum bottle. It's, I'm just so excited to try this. Like I've seen so many people use it like in Instagram tutorials and their skin always looks really, really nice. So I'm excited to try this. But next I have a uh, Natasha Denona lip glaze and I'm so excited to try this because I've never tried any lip products from Natasha Denona before. I think I've only actually tried her eyeshadow palettes before. So I'm really excited to try this. This is, um, in the shade 
rosy nude and it's just a really really pretty rosy nude shade i'll swatch it for you guys oh i haven't really been doing swatches of anything but i guess a lot of the stuff i tried doesn't really need to be swatched or showed you doesn't really need to be swatched but yeah just a really really pretty basic rosy nude shade this is the last item i got from sephora and it is the huda beauty power bullet matte lipstick in the shade interview and I've been eyeing these for a while. I'm not really a lipstick lipstick type of gal, um, just because I don't really like ruining the bullet of it. It's just, they're just so pretty, especially this one's gonna be really hard, but I saw these in store and I swatched this one and it was just so, so pretty. It's a really, really nice nude shade. I love how it looks super matte, like, it just looks so pretty. So I don't know if I'll be able to, use it. I mean, I will, but it's just going to be really hard because it just looks so beautiful. I love the packaging. I love how it's magnetic and Huda just killed it with these. So while I was gone, I got a package from Wet n Wild. My order finally came. I did not like how they didn't give me a shipping confirmation. So it kind of just showed up at my house and I didn't know about it. The only reason I knew it was going to be on the way is because um, my friend Michelle, um, I'll link her YouTube and her Instagram down below. I talked about her in my last video. She won my last giveaway. Anyway, um, she got hers and she snapchatted me a picture of it and I ordered not long after she did so I knew I'd be getting it soon. So luckily I had that <laughs> to know <laughs> that I was getting it soon. But I decided to just um, throw this little haul in with my LA stuff because why not? Um, I did post a picture of it on my Instagram, but if you don't follow my Instagram or maybe you didn't see that picture, I can show it to you now. So let's get into it. It's also kind of funny because Wet n Wild is like a brand from Los Angeles. So technically this is actually a part of the Los Angeles haul. <laughs> First thing I got from Wet n Wild is their 10 piece pro brush set. I love these brushes. I haven't used them yet. So I shouldn't say I love them, but I love how soft they are and how pretty they look. So, and I love this bag. It's really, it's actually a really nice quality bag. So I'll just show you these brushes quick. They are so soft, like I said, they're, they're so pretty. Like look at that display. This would be a great case to travel with with my brushes because I just kind of throw them in a makeup bag. So yeah, these are, these are so nice. But um, this is probably gonna be one of my favorites, just powder brush to like dust off, bake and stuff. But it is the P60 brush and it is the softest brush, or at least one of the softest brushes I've ever felt in my life. I'm so excited to use this. I didn't want to use them yet because I didn't want to get them all dirty for this video. But these, like this blender brush looks really nice. This, look at this highlighting brush, so nice. And you have like a little like carving out brush. You could like do like a, just like sick cut contour line with this. Also got a bundle of the three crease brushes. They were like in a bundle. I can't remember how much they were, but they were pretty cheap. So I was like, I need more blending brushes in my life. So might as well just get this little set. It's just their basic um, crease brush that they have like in every drugstore. So I'm excited. I got some of these little um, face gems in the style treat yourself. And they're just really cute. I thought if I ever wanted to do like a really like fantasy look or like a festival type of look, I would use these because I don't really have any in my collection or I don't at all actually. So I just thought these were really cute. Next I have the Photo Focus Foundation. This is a repurchase. I have another one which is getting really gross. I need to like throw it out. Um, so I decided to get a new one in a different shade and this one is shell ivory because I think the one I have is just a little too light for me. I used it today and I forgot how much I actually really love this formula. It smells like paint thinner but so worth it. And the last two items I have here are also oh, recommendations from Michelle she, and I'm really excited to use these. These are the baked blushes in hummingbird hype and don't flutter yourself. I'm really excited to use this one but I think this is the one Michelle really likes. So I'm really excited to try these. I've always wanted to try their baked blush formula. I have their normal blush. I don't know where it is right now. Like the normal like rectangle one in um, pearlescent pink, which is probably one of my favorite blushes ever. So I'm really excited to try their baked formula. Michelle said it's really nice. So I trust her judgment. So I'm really excited to use these. So I know that was short, but I really wanted to make a 
haul video for you guys because I love doing these videos. I really hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below what your favorite product was that I got or if you've ever been to LA before. What have you done there? What, what's your favorite thing about LA? If you, or if you want to travel there, why do you want to travel there? LA is really fun. It really is. I, I really liked it. Really busy, lots of traffic. Like they're not kidding about that LA traffic. Like I thought it wasn't gonna be that bad. Like it can't be that bad. Oh, it's really bad. So let me know what you guys would like to see next on my channel. I'm always open to suggestions. So I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye everybody.